Eleanor of Aquitaine was one of the wealthiest and most powerful women in Western Europe during the High Middle Ages and a member of the Ram Nulfide dynasty of rulers in southwestern France. She became Duchess of Aquitaine in her own right while she was still a child, then later Queen Consort of France and of England. She was the patron of literary figures such as Wace, Benoit de saint maury and Bart de Ventadorn. Eleanor's succession to the Duchy of Aquitaine in 1137 made her the most eligible bride in Europe. Three months after she became Duchess, she married King Louis VII of France, son of her guardian, King Louis VI. As Queen of France, she participated in the unsuccessful Second Crusade. Soon after, Eleanor sought an annulment of her marriage, but her request was rejected by Pope Eugene III. However, after the birth of her second daughter Alex, Louis agreed to an annulment given that their union had not produced a son after 15 years of marriage. The marriage was annulled on the 11th of March 1152 on the grounds of consanguinity within the fourth degree. Their daughters were declared legitimate and custody was awarded to Louis while Eleanor's lands were restored to her. As soon as the annulment was granted, Eleanor became engaged to Henry, Duke of Normandy and Count of Anjou, who became King Henry II of England in 1154. Henry was her third cousin, and 11 years younger. The couple married on 18 May 1152, eight weeks after the annulment of Eleanor's first marriage, in a cathedral in Poitiers, France. Over the next 13 years, she bore Henry eight children, five sons, three of whom would become kings, and three daughters. However, Henry and Eleanor eventually became estranged. Henry imprisoned her in 1173 for supporting her son Henry's revolt against her husband. She was not released until 6 July 1189, when Henry died and their son ascended the English throne as Richard I. Now Queen Derja, Eleanor acted as regent while Richard went on the Third Crusade, where on his return he was captured and held prisoner. Eleanor lived well into the reign of her youngest son, John. By the time of her death, she had outlived all her children except for King John and Queen Eleanor of Castile. Early life Eleanor's year of birth is not known precisely. A late 13th century genealogy of her family listing her as 13 years old in the spring of 1137 provides the best evidence that Eleanor was perhaps born as late as 1124. On the other hand, some chronicles mention a fidelity oath of some lords of Aquitaine on the occasion of Eleanor's 14th birthday in 1136. This, and her known age of 82 at her death, make 1122 more likely the year of birth. Her parents almost certainly married in 1121. Her birthplace may have been Poitiers, Bordeaux, or neuil sur laftais where her mother and brother died when Eleanor was six or eight. Eleanor was the oldest of three children of William X, Duke of Aquitaine, whose glittering ducal court was renowned in early 12th century Europe, and his wife, Enor de Châtellerault, the daughter of Amory I, Viscount de Châtellerault, and Dangerous de L. Isle Bouchard, who was William IX's a long-time mistress as well as Eleanor's maternal grandmother. Her parents' marriage had been arranged by Dangerous with her paternal grandfather William IX. Eleanor is said to have been named for her mother in law and called Ali in or from the Latin Alia in or, which means the other in or. It became Ali in or in the langs d'oil of northern France and Eleanor in English. There was, however, another prominent Eleanor before her, Eleanor of Normandy, an aunt of William the Conqueror, who lived a century earlier than Eleanor of Aquitaine. In Paris as the Queen of France she was called Eleonordis, her honorific name as written in the Latin epistles. By all accounts, Eleanor's father ensured that she had the best possible education. Eleanor came to learn arithmetic, the constellations, and history. 
She did learn domestic skills such as household management and the needle arts of embroidery, needlepoint, sewing, spinning, and weaving. Eleanor ended up developing skills in conversation, dancing, games such as backgammon, checkers, and chess, playing the harp, and singing. Although her native tongue was Poitevin, she was taught to read and speak Latin, was well versed in music and literature, and schooled in writing. Hawking and hunting. Eleanor was extroverted, lively, intelligent, and strong-willed. In the spring of 1130, her four-year-old brother William A. Gray and their mother died at the castle of Talmont, on Aquitaine's Atlantic coast. Eleanor became the heir presumptive to her father's domains. The Duchy of Aquitaine was the largest and richest province of France. Poitou and Aquitaine together were almost one-third the size of modern France. Eleanor had only one other legitimate sibling, a younger sister named Dalith, also called Petronilla. Her half-brother Joss Ellen was acknowledged by William X as a son, but not as his heir. That she had another half-brother, William, has been discredited. Later, during the first four years of Henry II's reign, her siblings joined Eleanor's royal household. Inheritance in 1137, Duke William X left Poitiers for Bordeaux and took his daughters with him. Upon reaching Bordeaux, he left them in the charge of the Archbishop of Bordeaux, one of his few loyal vassals. The Duke then set out for the shrine of St. James of Compostela in the company of other pilgrims. He died, however, on Good Friday of that year. Eleanor, aged 12 to 15, then became the Duchess of Aquitaine, and thus the most eligible heiress in Europe. As these were the days when kidnapping an heiress was seen as a viable option for obtaining a title, William dictated a will on the very day he died that bequeathed his domains to Eleanor and appointed King Louis VI of France as her guardian. William requested the king to take care of both the lands and the duchess, and to also find her a suitable husband. However, until a husband was found, the king had the legal right to Eleanor's lands. The Duke also insisted to his companions that his death be kept a secret until Louis was informed. The men were to journey from St. James of Compostela across the Pyrenees as quickly as possible to call at Bordeaux to notify the Archbishop, then to make all speed to Paris to inform the King. The King of France, known as Louis the Fat, was also gravely ill at that time, suffering from a bout of dysentery from which he appeared unlikely to recover. Despite his impending mortality, Louis remained clear-minded. His heir, Prince Louis, had originally been destined for the monastic life of their younger son but became the heir apparent when his older brother, Philip, died from a riding accident. The death of William, one of the king's most powerful vassals, made available the most desirable duchy in France. While presenting a solemn and dignified face to the grieving Aquitanian messengers, Louis exulted when they departed. Rather than act as guardian to the Duchess and Duchy, he decided to marry the Duchess to his 17-year-old heir and bring Aquitaine under the control of the French crown, thereby greatly increasing the power and prominence of France and its ruling family, the Capets. Within hours the king had arranged for Prince Louis to be married to Eleanor, with Abbot Suger in charge of the wedding arrangements. Prince Louis was sent to Bordeaux with an escort of 500 knights, along with Abbot Suger, Theobald II, Count of Champagne, and Count Ralph. 